on the clock. All right. Well, hey guys, it's Monday night. It's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, 801. I'm glad you're here on the Dream Achievers uh, Zoom call. Um, I ask that maybe you just put your phone on mute. It looks like most of you do have it on mute. Um, I'm just going to start out with a couple um, exciting things going on, and then I'm going to ask for two victories. So maybe if you have a victory and you want to be the one to share, kind of have that on the tip of your your tongue and then we're going to get into angie angie is going to share with us her success with um online parties so i got i don't know about you but i got my notepad Angie. i'm ready to <laughs> take some crazy notes Maybe someone's taking notes <laughs> you know me i'm old school okay no that's so good as, as you know aunt rebecca is ready too our new catalog is out and i hope you've ordered your consultant assortment uh there's a lots of really really yummy things there I'm really excited about our new Party Food Kit box. Um, I'm going with Party Food Kit 2, I think, but the one with the creamy wild rice too. But these boxes are finally big enough. You know, last year, or last season, they came out with to fit a catalog in because the other ones were just cute but didn't have the catalog. So anyway, I don't know about you, but I'm super excited about that. And then, of course, inside... Has, oh, this is Party Food Kit 1, has all the cool stuff. So you can go online to see that. But I just wanted to share with you that they finally made it bigger. So I love that. If you've ordered, they've kind of updated this as well. Um, in our, our boxes that we get in our client's box, how cute is the little recipe card? Anybody else notice this in your, um, cat, your box? Yeah, Amy's raising her hand. Um, it's super cute. So... Um, Maybe you'll hear, but there's a little challenge on the back, but I, they've really, they've professionalized it a little bit. To remind you on Wednesday night, I'm hoping, raise your hand if you're going to join me on the first ever virtual Zoom freezer meal workshop. I have been wanting to do this ever, ever, even before the pandemic hit, because I sound kind of crazy that our people had to go shopping, do the prep, and then bring all that stuff to their friend's house or church basement. I mean, it was fun, but it seemed like a lot of work. So I'm really excited to roll out this virtual, I got a freezer meal workshop with you. So we're going to do A. And I was just looking at my little book and just to remind you, it's for the Instapot. Raise your hand if you have an Instapot. Okay, so maybe about half of you. I bet you all have a crock pot. Yep, so you can, these recipes can be used for the crock pot or the Instapot. And there's even a side dish. So we're gonna do the first five. I'm gonna walk you through it. You just need to order the kit. Hopefully you've already done that. And uh, go grocery shopping. And then I'm just gonna practice with you guys because I want to have you do it with your people, but then I also want to do it with my people. And I'm going to kind of advertise it as no thinking involved because I'm going to do five recipes. I'm going to walk you through it and boom, and then you can do the other five on your own. So I wanted to remind you about that. That's very exciting. If you ordered the consultant assortment um, in there for free, you get this ginormous new 14 day reset book. So check that out. I love the reset. I haven't actually done it for two weeks yet because I seem to have a problem with sticking with that, but I love the idea and I am gonna do it. And I just think this new one looks really good. And I know Twyla has had huge success with it. I know Sheila, I think Lisa, there's definitely others on the call that have done very well with this. So anyway, this is the brand new one and you get this for free when you order the consultant assortment. All right, and then before we give it to Angie, I just want to say congratulations, Andrea Loomers. And up, oh, Andrea, I think is on the call near the bottom of my screen. Andrea promoted someone from North Carolina. Andrea, can you hear us? Andrea Loomer, maybe she's multitasking. I'm glad. Can I think you hear me now? Oh, okay, Andrea, tell us how you got this gal from North Hi. Carolina. Um, well, I've known her for 
quite a few years. Um, she was from, uh, or she's from the South and she had lived up here for a few years um, when I was a lot younger. And then she moved away. And so we've kept um, touch here and there over the years. And she's, um, I mean, her passion is, is cooking and, and culinary school. And so she's, I mean, this is kind of her jam anyway. And so she had tried Rodan Fields because um, she had a family member she was supporting and she just didn't feel it. So she wanted to give this a try and she's just been going to, going to town, experimenting with our products and she's, um, just about i think she last i checked she was close to 200 in sales already so she's she's getting there so i'm excited to to see her grow yeah that's awesome andrea loomer congratulations you'll have to invite her to our zoom call thanks yeah okay we have another well yeah good i'm sorry i didn't mean to jump over you um, Sheila Rupert has a new team member, Jessica, from St. Cloud, Minnesota. I don't know if Jessica's on, but I see our little Sheila on. Sheila, you want to tell us how you sponsored uh, Jessica? I have no idea how I sponsored Jessica. <laughs> she just she just appeared to me, so I I haven't been able to find out how she found my name. Okay. Well, good luck with that. And sometimes we get those little blessings and uh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Good luck with that. Well, and our third team member that has sponsored someone is our Angie. Angie has a new team member, Heather from Lincoln, Nebraska. And do you want to share how you got Angie or do you want to wait for your, your sharing? Oh, I can share. So, and Heather just got on too. Welcome, Heather. Oh, Heather. Yay. Welcome. Hey. Yeah, I saw Heather. I didn't put two and two together. Welcome. Well, I literally Hi, texted her two minutes ago. I'm like, hey, we're doing training. And she says <laughs> when, and I said, no. <laughs> Heather, sorry for that. No, Heather's having a, t a party with me right now. And yeah. she decided she loves the products, was, was really happy and excited about how her guests were so excited about it. I think in that, I mean, Heather, I could let you say too. I don't mean to put you on the spot right away, but, and so decide to go for it. <laughs> um, no, it's just most of these things don't get a lot of response. And everyone that was in the party was like, oh, I want this. I want this. I want this. And I was like, well, you know, it wasn't that much of an investment. And if I have, a, and there, we don't have any local people, at least that any of us are aware of. So I was like, why not? Yeah. <laughs> so. You're welcome. Yeah. Congratulations, Heather. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome to the team. Okay, guys. Well, let's, um, before I officially introduce Angie, uh, a couple minutes ago, I asked for two victories. So does as business related, perhaps, um, but does anybody have a big or small victory they'd like to share? And maybe just say your name and where you're from. Who would like, I'm looking for two. Anyone? I'll go, I guess. Okay. I was just really excited that I hit um, top sales for July as a consultant. So a, I was top yeah. five. Yes. Consultant. I was pretty level. excited. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. Yay. Look at little Angie, little clapper up there, little Zoom person. Thank you. <laughs> That's great, Amy. Who else? Big or small, business related. That's a pretty big one that Amy had, but we can share smaller ones too, if you want. Mine's small, but I'll share. <laughs> this is Tammy from Nevada. And um, I just got my box today of 25 pumpkin breads that I sold. So that was pretty exciting. I tried what they talked about from the conference about the limited offers and I put it out there and I had 25, I actually had 27 pumpkin breads that I ordered. So wow. I'm with today. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. So how did you do it? I just posted it out on Facebook that it was coming out limited time offer. I asked them to order because I thought they were only going to be available on the 10th. 
not realizing until it was gone. And um, I ended up getting 27 sold. So that was perfect. And my box of 25 came today. And then my separate box, which had two more, plus she ordered almost $100 worth of product. So <laughs> that was pretty exciting. That's when I realized that the peanuts or the almonds and the pecans, you didn't have to wait till um, October. <laughs> oh, right. You had asked that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, super fun. Okay. Well, congratulations, Tammy. Thank you, Amy. And thank you, Tammy, for sharing. Those are great pictures. And I'm sure we could keep going on, but we are going to move to our speaker for tonight. I want to officially introduce Angie Schaefer, who's a copper leader from Creighton, Nebraska. Angie has been with Tastefully Simple for 14 years. Love it. Um, her day job, and if you were on earlier, you, you heard her say she's a professor. She's a business instructor at Northeast Community College. She is single, and I asked her what her favorite part of Taste Play Simple is, and here's what she said. I control my business. I can up my cash flow or take time off. It's totally up to me. I also love the friendships and recognitions I receive. So let's let, I wanted Angie, I guess I didn't even share, remind you what the topic is. I wanted Angie to share with us all of her success in online parties. And she has 21 online parties or has had a few now from August till the end of September, 21, Angie, right? Yeah, it's through like mid-October though. Yeah. Okay, well, in two and a half months, Angie has 21 online parties. So let's hear from Angie. Um, and I'm sure she'll leave it open at the end for some Q&A. Angie, how, I'm going to let you run with it. However you want to do it, my dear. All right. Sounds good. I'm actually kind of nervous. This is exciting. I do this oh. every day. And I'm like, Ooh. All right. Love so yeah, it's, it's, um, I know I just don't need to say that I've been here since 2006. So when I first started, you know, we were huge into in-house parties. So I was doing a lot of personal parties. And then over the years, I kind of got away from that. It seems like everybody kind of stopped partying. People who've been around know that's kind of what happened. But I love the product. So I wasn't willing to give up my discount. And I used it all the time. So I just kind of kept going. And then I did quite a few expos and those types of things. So kept it going. Um, and I, you know, in the back of my mind is all this COVID stuff happened. I knew those expos probably aren't going to happen. Um, I do. My biggest one is the Creighton one I actually put on and I knew I wasn't planning on doing that because I think attendance will be down and all that. So, um, and that was kind of the back of my mind. But then in June, I have my past sponsor who's no longer sells. She um, books a party with me every season. So she had a pretty awesome party. Um, and then it was funny, I had to do research on what exactly did happen before this party. So I actually had two other people reach out to me to book parties. And notice I said, reach out to me, not me contacting them. But um, so I actually had like three parties kind of going on. And then the incentive came. And when I had three, I'm like, oh my God, I love those shoes. I don't know why I just went crazy over those shoes. Um, if you remember the cute little tennis shoes for June, the incentive, and I'm very much a competitive type person with incentives. So I was joking to Sherry, they can offer like a half eaten carrot and I'd be like, that is mine. I want it. Um, so I thought at first I was like, there's no way I can do $2,400. You know, it was already middle of June when I decided to go for it too. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. So I made a post and I even kind of copied what I did. And I, I just made a Facebook post. I took a picture of the shoes and the the socks and everything. And I basically just, I even said, I'm like, all right, friends, totally gratuitous, tastefully simple post here. I'm a dork. And I really want to hit the highest level of sales since end of this month. Um, and I want these sneakers. Yeah, I said it. I'm a dork. Anyway, I thought I need two and maybe three more Facebook parties to do it. Can anybody help me? So I was like, totally kind of vulnerable and put myself out there, which I, you know, um, I called myself a dork twice thinking that would maybe help. And it did. So I booked four parties off that post alone. And then um, I also had reached out to like one person. So I booked, I think it was a total of five. Um, I kind of figured I'd have like $300 parties. I figured because my online parties had been really pretty low kind of in there. And so I thought I'm going to go for more. And I basically just kind of asked people um, and let them and they responded to me. So um, let's see here. I booked four off that post. That's right. And then in one week I held five online parties. I don't suggest doing that, especially it was kind of the first time I'd done a lot. That was a little crazy. 
but I hit that month, I think $3,200 in sales in June. So all my $300 parties actually ended up being much, much higher. Um, and then a couple of them booked off the June and it just kind of starts that snowball impact. And the other thing is, I think it changed my mindset too. Cause I'm like, wait a minute, something's happening here. Um, you know, I had the two people approach me and I wasn't asking, why am I not asking people to have parties? Obviously that need is out there. And so I decided in July, it might've been the flip flops too. And I, I have so many flip flops. It's ridiculous. Um, but I'm like, Oh my God, another incentive. I got to go for it. So in July, I did have a couple parties booked for my June shows, but not a whole lot. So we have that everyday grilling coming out, right? Which Tammy, you were right. People are going for that. And so I put up a post and said, hey, oh my God, this is back. Um, who wants it? And I sold a bunch. But I also, the people who reached out to me, I messaged them and said, hey, you know what? If you love this product, why don't you have a party? Um, and I booked quite a few off doing that. So I sent out personal messages and asked for the party. And I totally kept them if you guys want to see what I put. But uh, so I did that. And I booked a couple from that. Um, and then also what I did is I thought, okay, well, who's my past host that have had a good show? And I had to go really far back because I hadn't done a lot of shows. I'd done quite a few fundraisers and stuff, but I sent those to my hosts, past hosts. And I kind of just said, I did, you know, something funny. I put, Hey, my host is with the most I'm going for a big sales incentive. Um, would you be interested in having one? So I totally tell them I'm doing an incentive and, you know, usually people want to help you and your friends. So don't be afraid to kind of do that. So um, out of those emails, I think I only booked one off that, but still. So July happened um, and it went really well. Um, let's see here. I'm just kind of thinking about July. Um, and so I got a couple parties. The good thing in July is I had two $1,200 parties. Two $1,200. Yeah, that's what I said too, Tammy. I saw your mouthing wow. Um, it was amazing. And, and I just really didn't realize that they could be that high. And I actually did my average of parties in this sense from when I started with um, back in the one in the end of May to June and my parties, my average for, did I write it down somewhere? Maybe I didn't, but I think they're $689 for online parties. That's my average, which is just kind of crazy. And I don't say that. I say that because it's kind of like, wow, you, you can have good parties. Like when I was doing in-home parties, $700 party was awesome. Right. I mean, so if we do it online, it kind of really opened my mindset to why the heck haven't I been doing this for a long time? And I need to tell everybody about it because you guys can really be doing well. The other thing I really noticed is that as I'm doing these parties, everybody is commenting. I know Heather, you probably saw it on yours, you know, Oh, I didn't know Taste Really Simple was still around. And that to me was kind of like, wow, I've, all, I've still been here, but obviously I'm not doing a good enough job of getting the word out. So, um, that's a, that's a big one. Um, so the remainder of the parties I booked from, from other parties. And I now have 23 on the books. I booked uh, two more this morning, believe it or not. So that's kind of cool. And Heather, I'm giving her all of her parties. Uh, but it just, I don't know, you guys, it just kind of keeps happening. That's what's so crazy. I, I don't know if it's me, the products. I think it's probably a little bit of both. So any questions on how I booked them or do you want to hear about my parties? And I talk fast and furious and I'm sorry. Heather, I, I mean, Angie, I love it. I'm thinking of Heather, your new team member. I think you should share when you get a chance, your scripting that you said you saved it. Yeah, I will. I actually have it saved to upload if you guys want it. Yeah. So, yeah. I and I just kind of, you know, I sent, I did a, it's a variety. You know, at first I thought most of it was from Facebook, but it was actually a lot. But if you have somebody reach out and say like, oh, I'll take that everyday grilling, especially if there's somebody new, that just shows they love the product. And so I did, I would just send them back a quick little, hey, it's totally okay to say no, but what do you think? So, um, but you have to ask, that's, that's the big key. And I could honestly care less if people say no. I teach my sales students. It's not you they're saying no to, it's the time. It's, it's not personal, you know, that's not what's happening. So if you can get that mindset, like, they're not telling me no, it's just kind of the situation that can help. So, but yeah, so now I'm up to a ton of parties. Um, I have one host who books like six and so she only got rewards for five. And so most are just kind of booking. So any other questions about how I booked them or, sorry, I'm kind of going into teacher mode. I don't even realize I'm doing that. Okay, if not, I'll kind of talk about, do you want to hear about kind of my parties and why I think they're working well? Yes. Yeah, yeah. okay, I didn't know. So. 
Um, I wrote down some tips and stuff with that. So I think one of the biggest things is to make your parties fun and interactive as much as you can. So I use a lot of gifts. Um, those are easy. If you know, if you're not like, I can't come up with clever things to say all the time. No way. But I tell you what, those gifts it can be hilarious and can add a lot to a party. So try and make them interactive. Um, I do spend a lot of time on my online parties. I'm not going to kid you that online, it's probably more time than in the home because I am checking it and stuff. Going back to work now, it's going to be interesting to see how that works. But I think you do need to carve out like an hour at night, depending on how many you have going. Obviously, if you just have a couple. Um, but you do need to get in there and, and interact with them. And I, a lot of them say that's what they liked best about it was me. You know, they'll say something and I kind of interact too. So um, try and interact as much as possible. Use the gifts, make it kind of fun, fast. I do some giveaways and people really have responded to them well. So I do little games that what I want to behavior, I want to encourage, I use games for. So like I want everybody to turn on their notifications so that they can see it. Facebook tries to let us see as little as possible. Um, also, I should probably tell you too, my parties I do from my personal site because Sherry suggested that. And I do groups now. Um, I used to do from my business page and events, and it has been a total game changer. That's why I think my sales, yeah, have gone from 300 to average of 600. And because so many more people see it. So I know you probably, some people hate to share that on your personal, but the thing is, you're not, your personal page isn't seeing all those posts. I make a private group. Um, I'm thinking about changing that because a lot of people want to share it, but I make a private group. Um, and so that way you're not overloading your own personal page. Okay. So I do that, but I do giveaways. So I want them to turn on notifications and my giveaways I use um, on, on the website or I can share it with you, but it's a free little spinny wheel. You just enter in all their names and then you spin the wheel. I take my, my phone and I video it and upload it. And people love that seem to react really well to it. So I do that. I say, Hey, you got to turn on your notifications mark done by this date. Okay. Um, my other giveaways, I gotta think here, I know I wrote them down somewhere, is the, um, I do for interaction, but also the meal, I do a poll for meal kits, because polls seem to really work good. So I post all the different meal kits, and then I do a poll and say, hey, which one would you like best for your family? And then they vote, and polling is good. Everybody likes to vote. We always like to have our voices heard, kind of. And so I do one for that, and then I have a real fun barbecue game that I got from Desiree. I think I shared that on our screen, too, and that one has huge impact. Um, I do about four and all I do for getaway giveaways is I write a thank you and then I take one of our seasonings and mail it. So it costs literally like a buck, a little bit over a dollar, but it's not bad at all. And so um, that's what I've been doing for that. And sometimes too, I even use samples that are from other seasons to get rid of and stuff. So um, that's my giveaways. I think that's been helpful too. Um, always drop sprinkles. You know, if you've been with Tastefully Simple for a long time, we talk about sprinkles and that's mentioning. One thing I've noticed is that I have a lot of people who want to book parties right away. Like after the first day, they're emailing me saying, hey, can I book my own show? So I'm actually, I usually put my party posts on the day four. I do a four day party. Um, first day is appetizer, second day is mains, third day is dessert, fourth day is kind of shopping day. And Desiree talked about that and that's where I got it. She was awesome. She called me and suggested that. Um, and so I always do my, do you want to have a party on day four? But I think I'm actually going to move it up to day one because I think the first day, there's a lot more excitement to it. And it's kind of fun. And I do a lot of games. I upload the games, heavy load the games at the beginning of the party. And I think that makes people want to have one. So I might do that. But I also drop sprinkles throughout. So somebody's like, oh my God, I want it all. You've heard that how many times? And you know, we're always supposed to say that. So I just type it like, hey, you should have a party. And it's amazing how often that actually does work. Um, I also use my host to help. So like with Heather, with her party, I have a, a post that comes out and says, Heather, tag your friends that would like to have a party. Because the reason most of us don't want to have a party, if you've ever been asked by others, for me, it's always like, oh my God, no one's going to show up. No one's going to buy. I'm going to be so embarrassed. Does anybody else ever feel that way? Yeah. And so when you can have like, yeah, Heather, that was probably your concern. So when you can have a host say, you should have a party, everybody loves you, it'll be fun, that helps so much. So I really work on my host to book shows, and I use them. Um, so I have them tag people. I also remind the host, hey, you get this half price item, and they do a lot of the work for me, believe it or not. So um, I really do talk about the half price item. Um, I, so I put it in, in there a little bit. So I, I have my host. Okay? 
Um, so that's kind of my top tips. Do you want me to kind of keep going? Yeah, okay. Um, also with host coaching is so important and Desiree really helped me with that too. And again, it's recorded on our site with host coaching and, and just kind of letting your host know, hey, you know, um, here's some things. So I did, I took her advice. I made three videos and I just send them out and randomly. And I have found that so much better that the hosts do tend to watch them. They're super short. My first one's like 50 seconds. I was camping. So I used a Snapchat filter. So don't be afraid to do that and upload it. <laughs> and then I think the second one I did too. So um, I just do videos. I really suggest to them, you know, the biggest thing is you got to invite a ton of people. So I've been to some shows and some training where they say, don't invite a lot, make it special. Mm -mm, you got to invite a ton. Like I tell them to invite 150 people and don't be afraid to in, in add them to the group and even people that you're not sure about. And then I even put out a post that says, please invite your friends. And just today, like from Heather's party, I had someone reach out to me and say, I don't really know Heather. I don't, someone else invited me, but I'm so glad they did. And so, you know, I even have a post about that. Invite your friends, please do. Um, and so make sure you're, you're really doing a lot of the host coaching and, and having them have a goal. And again, I highly suggest you watch Desiree's training on that because she did awesome. And she will be glad to talk to you about it too. Um, let's see here. So the other thing is they love recipes. So um, with my my parties, I actually, the, the marketing teacher in me comes out and I actually have them do a, a monkey survey at the end of the party. And I ask them three simple questions. Number one, did you have fun? Um, and I really thought I was going to get a lot of no's because I thought people were going to be like, no, it wasn't fun. But everybody has said, yes, that was awesome. Um, and then my second question is, did I have too many posts, not enough, or just right? And every single person has put just right, which shocks me because I did a lot of posts. Um, I'm doing 10 to 11 posts a day, sometimes even more over those four days. And that really worried me that I was overwhelming them. But one thing I did is I stopped doing a lot of like one post with four videos and I just been kind of focusing on some. And so um, everybody's saying they like the number of posts, which shocked me. And then the other thing is that they really like the recipes. So I say, what do you like? And the number one thing is recipes, recipes, recipes. And the, after the very first few parties, I only put really recipes in the thank yous, like what Sherry does. Um, and I had so many people say, I wish you would have shared the recipes earlier. And so I did that. And then some, another common feedback was, I wish you did more at night because that's when I'm on. So I also kind of adjusted my parties for that. So anybody can do survey monkey if you guys kind of want to know how it's going i highly suggest doing that just three simple easy questions so and nobody has said like it's horrible i hate it which is, <laughs> which is good I'm, I'm always glad for that um i do like i said about 10 posts a day i try not to do more i keep them all super short i like videos the research has shown that people like videos so much better um, and so I do a lot of emojis because when you use emojis, they read it 80% more without than without emojis. So I actually add a lot of emojis, believe it or not, not a lot, but like three in there. Um, I use like, I will do product features and stuff, but I use the social, the go social. Oh my gosh. Go social. That's terrible. Yeah. My brain's dying. I do that. Um, I ask a lot of questions of them. So if they say, I love Tastely Simple, I always say, well, what's your favorite product? If someone says, I love Bayou Bourbon, I ask them, what do they use? And I tag, I tag people constantly. If I'm not getting a lot of interaction, I'll like go in and tag people um, to do that. And I'll have the host tag people. So definitely tag as much as you can. Um, let's see here. Oh, and the other big thing is try and make a system that's repeatable. Um, when you're doing a lot of parties, I spend a lot of time up front organizing my parties. I am using SenseShare, which I absolutely love. Um, and SenseShare is a, is a program that will send things out for you. I do all scheduling on my Facebook parties. There's no way I could do them on the fly. So I spent, you know, my days kind of plotting it out. And um, I use OneNote on Microsoft, but you could use other methods. But I have like post number one, 8 a.m. And here's what I have. Post two, 10, 10 a.m. And here's what I have. So, and then the files I have listed, post one, post two, post three, day one. So I really organize it so that I can quickly grab stuff. Cause when you're doing a lot of parties, it can be overwhelming. But since share has been awesome. And I think you're having somebody train on that, right, Cherry? Well, I need someone to train on that, Angie. Mark is going to talk next week, but he's just going to talk about his journey. Okay. Um, do you have any tips on how to figure out since share? I mean, I know 
you have figured it out. I have not yet, but I haven't spent tons of time. Yeah. Either. And I'm not a pro at it yet by any means, um, but I would be glad to share my screen sometime and do a quick yeah. training on it. Okay. I think that's the, almost the easiest is to do that, but it is a lot like Facebook. There's a couple things I wish SenseShare could do, um, and maybe you guys know if anybody else is using it, but you can't upload videos that Im are embedded in there. Oh, how do you spare the, spell the share app? It's cinch, C-I-N-C-H, shar.com and you get a free two-week trial with it and then after that it's like eleven dollars and i tell you what it has paid for itself there sherry shaved it for everyone i mean it yeah. it took my prep time down by at least a to one fourth of what i was doing before but like and i said the only bad thing is you can't share videos um you can upload the videos to youtube and then share that link but i i watched how many people were watching them and it went way down so i don't know that's the only so i still use facebook and I still schedule a few videos, like the Giddy Up Guacamole video, you know, those from Get Social, because those are so incredibly popular. Angie. Um, but like I said, um, I just kind of wrote a note here that so many people are saying, I didn't know Tastefully Simple was out there. Like, seriously, you cannot imagine how many people say that. Heather, didn't they say it on yours? Yeah, it's at least so many. And so the opportunity is out there. It, it will happen if you just get that ball rolling. Um, it's kind of amazing what it what it can do um and so the biggest thing is just make a system that's repeatable so that, and whatever your system is just have it so that you can you don't have to constantly re come up with your ideas and stuff um i am trying to change it a little bit if a lot of the same people booked um and i did have to do quite a bit of work to go to fall but then i always kind of tweak them too if i notice a post is getting no interaction and you can see who's seen it and if it's getting nothing i take it out because why bother wasting some valuable time with that, so make sure the posts are interactive. So, holy cow, I just went through like two pages of notes for you guys. Angie, you are fantastic. I want to open it up to questions. What What do you guys want to ask Angie? Go for it, Sheila. Uh, thank you, did you see me waving? <laughs> oh, a um, couple of questions. Do you tell your hosts that it's only gonna run four days? Because I get hosts wanting it to run two weeks or three weeks. Yeah, I don't even give them the option. I tell them, you don't give them yeah. an option. what I do is I open the party. I usually create it or open it, give it them the link on Thursday or Friday. And then I have a couple posts, like fun ones, you know, like, do you mayonnaise or do you whip? Um, and then I do something like every time someone puts whip, I put a whip gif on there just because you had no idea how many whip gifts are on there. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. okay. Um, and I okay. do those kind of fun things leading up to the party. And then okay. I start on Tuesday and I do four and it's, it's been so much better than like the one hour and stuff like that. So I would, yeah, I wouldn't do the two week. I think it just draws it out too much. And then you're trying yeah. to think of content, you know? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I lose people and then they don't ever order. Yeah. So I, think so. I would just um, say, you know so what, most successful, let's try this. And if we need to go longer, we will. I have done okay. that. Okay, cool. And then you said day one, you do appetizers, day two main dish. So on day one, you just talk about our different appetizers and yeah. you post videos. Mm -hmm. And then do you ever actually go live yourself in those four days or no? I used to, I did. And I do appetizers and drinks on day one. I should have added the drinks. So for so long, I couldn't do drinks because they were out. Right. We didn't um, have any, right. Yeah. So yeah, I do. I used to go live on day one. Well, you know, to me, going live is to get people interacting back and forth. And when you just go live and I would just say, hey, welcome to the party. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do four day parties. I would explain it. Right. But I really had okay. no interaction in it. And I thought, why am I doing a Facebook live when now it's tough because I'm at work? Maybe just a video is better instead. So I just kind of pre-recorded a video and I've been doing that. I still think about going live because I love that aspect of it. But you got to get people on. And we all are not on time. I mean, look how hard it is right. to get how many people on it Monday night at 8. Right. So, I don't know. If you okay. like to share it, right? But I just found, like, one person was watching. Okay, cool. And then on day four, that's when you're like, okay, it's time to order. Okay. Um, how, do you, how do you finalize things and tell them, this is it, you need to place your order? Yeah, so I put up a time to shop, and I have the link. Um, and then I do a host a party. I do two, two things for host a party. Um, I have a cute one picture of me um, holding one. I kind of make it personal. And then I do like a join. So I do a join one. Um, I also then, and I can look what I have. Oh yeah, I have my one note open. 
Got to go to day four here. So post one, actually, I do garden because I ran out of room. So, and then 10 a.m., I do, um, yep, time to shop, three, and then at 12, I do the, um, oh, the book a party, and then I do kind of a, I tag my host, and I ask her to tag some people. And then at, at five, I do the joining post. And then at seven, I do that post party poll. And I have found that has been really awesome. And I use that from the get social, but it's like post yay, A for yay, I order, I'm gonna order B for help, C I'm next, I wanna have my own party. You would not believe how many people put C on that. And that's where I book parties from. Um, and then also a lot of my parties, they don't say a word on Facebook. And then when they put in their order, they check, yeah, I'll have a party. I've had a lot do that, which is kind of cool. Um, so okay. I do that party post and then just a few others. Like if I find a cool recipe, I'll still post some. And then the next day I post, thanks for attending. And I put the link again. And then um, the day before it closes, I put party closes tomorrow. And then that day of closing, I put, we're closing in a couple hours. Okay. That kind of helps, Sheila. Do you, do you keep that group open even after you've close the party in case like in the future you want to post something about the new catalog coming out yeah, yeah i have and i've been, especially with scent share it's so easy to send something to them so i have been okay. leaving it open i'm not going to post a lot but i have been leaving okay. it open because it doesn't really hurt anything okay and then i don't want to hog all your time but lastly i'm going to friend you and then would you mind inviting me to one of your groups sure. so i can see your posts yeah, absolutely. I don't have a party this week. Woo I took it off for school. Um, but I have two starting on Tuesday. But I can okay. I can put you in a past one, too. That's oh, just that'd be great. Just so I can see your post. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. thank you. Yeah. Amy. Can I, get, can I get in on that, too, with your, your past parties? Yeah. Who, who said that? Uh, Amy Kine. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I do use SinShare, too, so I'm kind of interested how you have your setup because I haven't been able to streamline it it like you do with 8 a.m 10 a.m i just kind of pick and repost pick and repost every party and yeah and, then i'm confused use, with what i've shared and what i haven't shared yeah if you guys want me to share my screen i can show you one note so a lot of times oh host disabled it that's all right um i can it, it's called one note it's okay sherry it's called one note from uh microsoft and it's basically like a big binder and so it allows you to have a section and then sections and stuff so it's really helped, but really, however you have it. That's the bad thing about Sense Share too, is I wish it would allow us to put post one, 8 a.m., that kind of stuff, it doesn't, so. I know they allow you to share folders, but I've never been able to figure that out yet oh. with Sense Share either. For folders, huh? Okay, yeah. I've done mm -hmm. group photos, like several different photos. Is that what you mean by folder? They said, like, if I had created a whole party and then I signed somebody up, that I could give them access to my whole party like post but you still um, have to schedule it so i don't understand how that would and angie yeah. that, and amy that's how um mark has been so successful okay. he can sh i haven't figured it out yet either but he can share his entire folder and then he does that with his new team members and so he actually does their first party for them but then he shares it and then they can tweak it of course so that's why he's being so dang duplicatable. And I know we'll learn more about that next week. So Angie, yes. this is actually perfect yeah. that you're on tonight. Sharing some research on that too. Yeah. And then, I mean, we'll all benefit from that because, you know, this isn't rocket science, but heck, I can't even figure out since share, which, I mean, I can figure it out, but I'm not using it. I'm still doing copy and paste oh. and scheduling. Yeah. Well, and that's oh, easier, but still, fun. yeah, since share is not real user friendly. It's not bad, but. I bet there's sites out there that are even better. I just haven't had time to research them. Well, SimShare is what Mark uses. And I mean, you can't argue with his success. That's true. That's true. <laughs> see, and I love it. I don't want to, I yeah. just know that it can do more for me. I just need to find out how it can do that for me. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Anybody else have a question for Angie? Hey, Angie, this is Cheryl Petrowski. Would you, could you link me to one of your parties also? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I noticed, and thanks for asking, Cheryl. I noticed on the side here, Angie, and I'm, I'm taking note here that you've had other people ask as well. Oh, so okay. I will just forward you those names because cool. I obviously I'm check the chats. Yeah, don't There's worry about Desiree. I have to give a shout out to her because she helped me so much with the four day party and stuff. I, I, yeah. She just joined a little while ago. So she is on Desiree. She's up in, yeah. It's just hard because with online parties, I almost <laughs> wish 
um, you know, you had more of a system. So I do share that with my team members. I tell them like, do this for post one, do this for post two, but change it up a little bit. Yeah. And I think Tastely Simple will get better at that and have more of a plan. You know, I like think, post one, post two, because that's the hardest part. You're, you're worried about it. Mm, you're not going to mess anything up. Just definitely. Kidding. I think you really do have to make it your own because to each individual group party, you're catering to you're catering to people, but you're catering to a different need sometimes. Yeah. You got to make it unique to that party. Yep. I use the same posts, but the interaction will be different. Yes. It's not any different than doing an in-home party. You know, I basically have my script, but of course I listen Mm -hmm. and, you know, I might talk differently. So you're going to do the same for your online parties. So kudos. Will anybody else have a question? Otherwise, we'll probably just start a thread on the team page. I'm going to, I'm going to give us four more minutes and then I'm going to stop just out of courtesy to Ange. Anybody else have a question? Just want to say thank you so much, Angie, for sharing all your great tips. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And I'm still learning at it too, because I've never done this many yeah, it's kind of crazy, but yeah, it's really awesome when you're doing the work and you're getting such rewards for it. You don't mind doing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm sorry that I'm a, I was late, guys. I was just uh, signing up a new gal on my team. Yay, <laughs> That's my next goal. That's I'm a good like, excuse. Oh, my, my, <laughs> my August goal. Reach out to past hosts to sign up. So. Woo woo. I need to do more. You know, Angie, and your success, it's just contagious and you're excited. And it reminds me of when you are working your business and you're you're doing more, but it's it's I don't want to say easier, but it is. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying, Angie? Because you're having fun. And I can tell you're having fun and you're enjoying it and you're learning and you're stretching and, and you're having fun. Yeah. You so, challenges, absolutely. Yeah, so kudos to you, Angie. I'm so proud of you and so excited. And I can't wait to see a picture of you in those flip-flops. I know, and everybody's like, post a picture of your shoes, but yeah. And we don't, we haven't got that stuff yet. But anyway, um, I thank you. And Angie, I'm going to actually maybe give you a ring here quick when we're done. Um, I'll just give you a call. Otherwise, the recording will be up tomorrow. And then I will share with Angie, everybody who's on that wants to be a part of a past party. I think that would be the best. And then if we have additional questions, let's start some chatter on the team page. Sounds good. Sounds thank good. you, Angie, and thank you to everybody that joined. Thank, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.